what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so scream 5 is starting its third official week of filming this week they had no issues last week you know the first week we ended with some unfortunate news that three crew members had come down and tested positive uh for the virus or whatever going around and Nothing has happened this week or this past week, and they started off this this week with no issues so far. We know they shot some scenes at the bowling alley last week. Uh, Melissa Barrera and her her co-star Jack Quaid actually managed to make their way. They were featured on a news on a news video last week showing them filming at the bowling alley. So instead of working at Costco, it looks like Sarah and Ryan or Richie and Sam uh, still don't know what their names actually will be. They'll be working at a bowling alley and not Costco as we all thought. And we know that we can expect the at least one member of the trio to start filming this week. David Arquette will be on set this week. Uh, at least that's what he told a that's what he told Screen Rant last week when he sat down and had an interview recently with Screen Rant. He teased that he would be filming this upcoming week. So we should expect to see something regarding not only David Arquette seeing Dewey on set officially this week. We might might be lucky to see a picture of Dewey in character, David Arquette in character dressed as Dewey with his mustache. Uh, and then we could also potentially see for the first time since filming has started, the trio reunited in a uh, in an image on set. And during this interview, he teased what we could expect with uh, the following, just talking about the mustache that he's been given and everything. He went on to state that, well, this mustache is just freshly cut for Dewey. I start in less than a week. I'm really excited about it to be teaming up with Courtney and Nev again and carrying on Wes's legacy is really exciting for me. It's going to be sad, very bittersweet without him there. But Radio Silence, they are incredible filmmakers. They are going to do a great job. They've been inspired by Wes, so it's great to see his legacy continue. So again, anytime we hear mention of Wes Craven and everybody's intent here to just make a movie that honors and respects what he what that man gave us with this franchise for the past four movies and with kevin williamson being on board him giving his blessing to what these filmmakers matt benelli open and tyler gallette and guy Busick and the other writer i can't think of his name at the moment that have come together they've expressed multiple times that they are fans of this franchise and they just want to be able to honor this man's legacy it's always heartwarming to hear that because myself as well as you guys were all screen fans we don't want anything that's less than less than good nothing that would tarnish what we've already got in the past i don't think it's possible to say we could get the worst screen movie here i don't think it's possible because ready or not was pretty good and if you haven't already check out zodiac zodiac is another pretty good film so bl blending those two those two movies together with those two writers i'm excited to see what they can bring to the table now, the next thing we need to talk about is Billy Loomis. So Billy Loomis, Skeet Ulrich, as you all know, last week or a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about Marley Shelton teasing that Skeet Ulrich could be appearing in Scream 5 of some sorts. And now we have even more evidence to suggest that Skeet Ulrich, Billy Loomis, could be making an appearance in some fashion in Scream 5. How he appears, I do not know, but not this isn't a cast member but it's just another another person working on this film that has I, and they have a private page they have a private page this is the individual uh name goes by the name chad keith if you look him up on imdb he's listed as the production designer for screen five he put out a put out a post in in uh august around mid-august the late time of august a couple months ago where he tagged Skeet Ulrich, Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox, and just kind of like was just teasing his upcoming work on the project. And a few tidbits that I gathered from this, because if you take a look at this image here, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. This is coming from Chad Keith on Instagram. Again, this is supposed to be the production designer for Screen 5. Uh, he said, it's super fun to be prepping. It's, it's one and bringing it back for for more um i think that's what it said the picture kind of came through a little bit blurry for me so i do apologize but i can clearly see that he tagged nev campbell he tagged courtney cox he tagged david arquette and he tagged skeet ulrich as you saw now here's the thing as you saw that date was august 29th why are you tagging all of those cast members prior to nev nev's actual announcement 
which goes back to what I was saying and what a lot of other people were saying. When Nev Campbell got announced, she had already been on for a long time. Nev Campbell's been on, Courtney Cox has been on, David Arquette's been on. They have been dragging this out for news purposes. And as I made mention of, when we got that Nev Campbell confirmation, the whole entire cast sheet was unlocked. We found out Dylan Minnette was going to be in it. We find out Mason Gooding was going to be in it. We found out all these other things of people that we could expect to see in Screen 5. And it came just as soon as we got that official confirmation that Nev Campbell will be reprising her role in Screen 5. But going back to Skeet Ulrich, why is he tagged there? I do not know, but that's the second time. This is a production designer tagging him. A production designer tagged him before Marley Shellen tagged him. And this production designer has now deleted this post because if you try to follow him, he doesn't have it up anymore. And Marley Shelton, when she did it, she corrected and removed it. So that's all but confirming to me that we can expect to see Billy Loomis playing a factor in this narrative in some capacity. A lot of people are not thinking out of the box. They seem to not know how to be creative, which is why they're not writing this film. <laughs> I don't get this notion that it's going to be Billy Loomis back from the dead. It could be anything. It could be a variety of different things for Skeet Ulrich to reprise his role as Billy. And as you see here, some images from set. If you look here, you see that on this school bus at the bottom, they have Woodsboro, Woodsboro High School District, very reminiscent and very, paying a lot of good detail to how the, the school bus, the school buses were from the original screen, because that's exactly the wording that we saw in the original screen when Sydney got dropped off at her house after we saw her initially in school with Tatum and interacting after the whole Casey Becker, the day after Casey Becker's body was found in the school, was talking about it. And it was the talk of the town. And she was just diving into all of this. And we were slowly learning things about her and her mother, all of that good stuff. See more set pics coming across here. Everything looks like everyone seems to be having a good time. They're enjoying making hopefully what is going to be the one of the better entries in this franchise and possibly i can honestly see this being the best scream sequel that we have gotten since scream 2 because a lot of people would argue that scream 2 is the strongest sequel i can argue that as well is it my favorite it's not my personal favorite but as far as like a filmmaking aspect and which which two are the which one is the better made sequel out of all of them i can admit that it is scream scream 2 i would argue that for hours with anyone who wanted to say that three was better or four was better i'm gonna have to sadly put you down and just come at you with straight receipts and you see we have more shots here some interior shots of the bowling alley that they're going to be shooting at or that they have been shooting at where melissa barrera and jack quaid were shown recently on the news shooting their scenes in character and the last thing i want to talk about here today is Stu mocker and I'm not talking about Stu Mocker being alive. Just it looks like we can expect something regarding him. So like look at this tweet from Matthew Litter. We know everybody's I'm sure you come across this tweet. Combining this tweet where he's talking about it was just a TV, he could have survived. Uh suspicious. Red flag number one. Don't think he's gonna be back. I just think that with everything coming out, we can expect to see something from Stu. I don't think it's gonna be Stu being alive. And then we have another tweet or not a tweet, but a screenshot of an article that another person pointed out to me. They're going to be using a studio for some for some things regarding this production. Now, why would they need a studio? They, they can need it for a variety of variety of different reasons, uh, possibly because it's a lot safer to do it in the studio, maybe some other things. But they could also use a studio to, to recreate something. Now, look at this. Uh, big shout out to Jay Smethers. I hope you're saying I hope I'm saying your, your name right. If I'm not, I do apologize. Uh, he recently he visited the, the Stu Mocker house where they filmed at the for the original original film. He visited that house a few years ago and he just uh, being nostalgic, wishing he can go back to it. Tagged a few members of the production in this tweet. Now, one thing to mention that I want to pay that I want you guys to pay attention to is this next tweet. Now, again, this is a tweet in reference to the Stu Mocker house. Project X Entertainment, who is working on this Screen 5 film, they like this tweet. Not only them, though. So this individual who posted that, he also posted it on Instagram. He told me and someone else from from the production had liked it, too. Now, what am I getting at? These all these tweets that you've seen where it has something to do with Stu and then a studio being used for who knows what. 
and now they are liking stuff mentioning Stu's house. I think it's possible that we could see Stu Mocker's house return in Scream 5. I think it's possible we could see his house return in Scream 5. Um, and I, that's just my speculation off of those tweets. Let me know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I would have links to all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And of course, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.